Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and today I'd like to talk to you about um, a topic that I get a lot of calls about, and that is uh, lien stripping uh, in Chapter 13 bankruptcy. And if you're not familiar with the concept, basically it works like this, is that uh, under bankruptcy law, you are allowed to strip or remove a lien, a mortgage lien, uh, in a property if that lien is fully unsecured. And, and typically the scenario works like this. Um, let's say you have a house that has fallen in value, and of course who among us has not had that happen if you have a house. Um, and let's say, for example, the house is at one point was worth $350,000 and now it's for $250,000. Um, and you have a first mortgage of uh, let's say 275 or 280 and a second mortgage of say 60. Well, if the first mortgage is now worth uh, or the first mortgage is, is now more than the value of the property, in other words, the 260 um, first mortgage is obviously higher than the 250 value, uh, then that second mortgage, that $60,000 second mortgage, is completely unsecured. There's no equity for it to attach to. And under the bankruptcy law, you can file a motion to strip that lien away and treat that second mortgage as an unsecured debt. And this is a, a tremendous way to save a lot of money, especially if in Chapter 13 you're paying your unsecured creditors at 10 or 15 cents on the dollar, even 50 cents on the dollar. Uh, it's a good way to greatly reduce uh, your mortgage debt, uh, and uh, it's done by motion. Uh, you can some some places do it by complaint, but typically it's done by motion. At least in the Northern District of Georgia, you file a motion to strip the lien, and basically what I do is I will have an appraisal done. And I've got some appraisers that uh, I refer out to, uh, just a panel of people, uh, get the appraisal, a, a third party independent appraisal done. If the appraisal comes in uh, below the amount of the first mortgage and the tax appraisal is, is, is that way as well and the comps are done, there's a number of things, usually four or five things. Again, typically a tax appraisal, a comps, uh, there's sometimes there's some internet sites that can give you some, some valuations and a real appraisal, even a drive-by appraisal by real estate broker can be helpful. If you have three or four or five things to show value um, and you show the values less than the balance on that first mortgage, there's a pretty good chance you're going to be able to strip it away. And you file this motion, there's a hearing. Uh, my experience has been that most of the time second lenders are not even showing up. Uh, if you make a compelling argument in your motion, uh, they realize that they're not going to win and they don't hire counsel and you get the lien stripped and uh, you treat that unsecured or that, uh, that lien as an unsecured debt in your Chapter 13 and it saves you a lot of money, it eliminates a monthly payment of course and it gives you more disposable income to fund your Chapter 13 and, uh, and basically the lien is now stripped. Uh, now the actual lien does not become permanently stripped until your case is concluded, until your discharge is issued. So you've got to fulfill uh, the requirements of your Chapter 13 but it can be a very effective uh, thing to do. And and just to give you some perspective, um, this is all kind of, not that it's new, but, but up until a few years ago, um, trustees and lenders were pretty hostile towards this concept um, because, again, I think they felt that uh, people should, uh, if, they, if they had mortgage debt, they should pay their mortgage debt. With real estate values falling, though, I'm actually having trustees tell me, go ahead and file a lien strip. They're encouraging me to do it. Uh, lenders are not really contesting it, so it's a really changed environment. Um, the second perspective, uh, thought idea from perspective is a number of years ago, really three or four years ago, there was some movement in Congress to allow bankruptcy judges to uh, have the power to do what they call cram downs where they could reduce mortgage balances to the amount approximately of the value of the property. And lenders and so forth opposed this they fought you know, hand and foot to oppose this. They didn't want to give judges this power, which really, in my opinion, would be a, probably a good thing because it would help uh, ease some of this uh, crisis where we, we have all this debt out there and property values way below the amount of the debt. I think as a reaction to that, trustees in bankruptcy are a lot more receptive to uh, second mortgage lien strips, uh, and perhaps the lenders are maybe not as, a, as an opposition to it because, again, they don't want to see bankruptcy judges having more power to actually cram down first mortgages as well. So maybe this is a reaction to that as well. So in any case, what I would tell you is if, you, if you're looking at uh, a situation where you've got a property
property that is worth way less than the first mortgage, not to say uh, the second mortgage as well, uh, you may be in a situation where a Chapter 13 could give you an opportunity to do a lien strip and greatly reduce your, your, your total cost uh, and your total debt picture uh, and, and change your monthly budget for the better. Again, bankruptcy is always the last resort, but this is one of those situations where it can have a dramatic effect on your budget. Uh, and if it's something that's appropriate and you want to discuss it, feel free to give my office a call. We'll be happy to explain how lien stripping works uh, in the Northern District of Georgia and whether it would, might work for you and what you need to, uh, to make it happen. I uh, hope this has been helpful. Again, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I was discussing today uh, the idea of stripping liens uh, in Chapter 13 cases in the Northern District of Georgia. Uh, until next time, we'll talk to you soon.